Hey guys, welcome to another re review, uh, kind of a review. <laughs> I'm not really going to call this video a review, more of just like a warning. Don't watch the Halo show. <laughs> yes, um, the Halo show came out a few weeks ago on Paramount+. Plus. It is now, I think, three episodes in, episode four is coming out. I watched the three episodes, and I'm just here to say, don't watch it. Just, just straight warning, don't watch the show. I'm not going to go into too many heavy spoilers because <laughs> I don't want to ruin the show for everybody because that's kind of a dick move and stuff, but I might do minor spoilers, but I just want it. <laughs> this show is meant to be a show for fans of the Halo franchise. I like the Halo video games. Like, I'm not, like, a pro on it, though. Like, that that's... I played the first three Her first three Halo games. That's what I meant to say. I played the first three games, and they were all very good. Even two being divisive as it is, I enjoyed it. I'm not a Halo expert, but I know Halo, and I I, I know the character of Master Chief and the world it creates and stuff. And I know they get much much better like as the series keeps going and stuff, which is fine, but. Halo was just, it was never, it exists in Xbox. I was always a PlayStation guy. That's basically the reasons why I haven't played the Halo games. But when I found this show was coming out, I was very intrigued. Like, Ooh, like creating a Halo show, like putting that on Paramount Plus and stuff. Like maybe I don't even need to play the games. Like the show will tell you what the games are all about too and everything. But the show doesn't do that. This show relies so heavily on the name and the title and the, and, the, and the main character, Master Chief. It relies so heavily on the name of Halo for people to watch the show. And the show is an absolute lie. Really a huge lie. Because the show is not Halo at all. Not in the slightest bit. It has Master Chief and stuff. And there's a couple things from the Halo video games that are in it. But it is not a Halo show. It is like a multi-universe. It's kind of like... <laughs> it's going to give you one to like a... Uh, the 2009 Star Trek movie wanted a Star Trek remake, but it says, hey, this is a reboot, and it's an alternate reality. That's why I know why it, that pissed a lot of fans off, but th this does something... I feel like even with the 2009 Star Trek movie, at least it, you know, it didn't shit on anything with the plot-wise and the characters... That I thought, not that I think of, but this one really shits on the fans. This game, this movie, sorry, this movie, television show, game, television show, what am I talking about? This television show shits on the fans of Halo. Like, literally it does. Like, it literally tricks you into, like, subscribing to Paramount Plus and tricks you into the show, saying that it's a Halo show and it's, like, an adaptation of the video games. And it's none of that. It's not Halo. It is a science fiction show, science fiction drama action show that just is so called Halo and it has Master Chief in it. But it is not Halo. It has no stories of Halo, it has no intertwines with Halo, and has nothing to do with what's happening in the video games. This is not Halo. This is just a generic science fiction show that just so happens to be called Halo and has Master Chief in it. It's not Halo, though. Like, if you've played a Halo video game, you know what Halo is. This is not Halo. I don't know what the fuck this is. I feel like it tries, because I I, I feel like Paramount saw what Disney's doing with The Mandalorian, and they're like, we need to do that. Like, we need to make a show like The Mandalorian and stuff. Like, a very slow, kind of placed, like, Western-feeling science fiction, and a guy with a helmet and stuff. Like, we need that, too. But we can't just make a show about that. We need a brand. We need a big title. Halo. Master Chief. We'll just do that. And kind of be like the Mandalorian. But we're not going to be anything like Halo. Even though it's called Halo. It's 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 just absurd. What I was watching. Like all these characters are in it. Like, who are these people? And why are they focusing on them. And not the characters from Halo. Or Master Chief. And why is Master Chief taking off his helmet? <laughs> what, what's going on here? Oh my god, just like, the creators and the writers of the show clearly had no idea anything about Halo. Like, they had no idea what Halo is, and who, 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 what is Halo about, and everything. This show 
is just this boring, bland, ugly science fiction show that's called Halo. It's not Halo. <laughs> it's, 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 it's infuriating. It's absolutely infuriating. And to do this to the fans is just, I think it's wrong. Like, I really think it's wrong. Like, fans of the Halo franchise have been looking for, like, a movie or a show or something for a long time. And this is what you put all your money to. And this is what you give them. A giant middle finger and a fucking lie. Like, this, that's some bullshit. I'm sorry, that's that's some bullshit right there. <laughs> I just... What, what there are there are there are things I can more things I can say. What this show does, I'm not gonna say. It. Just take my word that it's bad. It's really fucking bad what they do in this show. Um, I already said he takes his helmet off. I'm not gonna say anything more. I'm just saying what they do with the story and something. Character, it's it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> And, yeah, visually, it doesn't even look that good. I know it's got a big budget to it. It doesn't look very good. It's very ugly and stale looking. I don't think the shots are very well laid out. I don't think the action is that great. But I will say the first 15 minutes of the first episode were kind of engaging. I'm like, oh, okay, wait. Maybe the show isn't half bad. And then just keeps going. And the first episode, I'm like, well, that was a pretty bad episode. But what about episode two? I can't judge it just off one episode. After episode two, I'm like, mm, I'll give it one more. I'll give it one more. I gave it one more. I'm done. And everyone's like, whoa, you, maybe you should watch the whole season. You can't just judge it. I'm like, Mermy, if you can't hook me in the first, like, two, three episodes, you failed. You failed. <laughs> uh, the, the show sucks. It's not a good show. It's not a Halo show. And even, let's just say it wasn't even called Halo. It's not even an interesting science fiction action show. It's not. I don't care about any of these characters. Master Chief sucks. <laughs> like, he sucks in this show. Um, I don't like any of the antagonists. I don't like any of the worlds they've created. I don't like anything that they did. I just think it's a really boring and pretty shitty uh, science fiction show that just Again, it, it was like watching Fantastic Beasts 3. It was just boring and bland and forgettable, and I just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, um, I can see why. There's a lot of fans that are very angry with this show, and after watching the first three episodes, I get it. I get it. If I was like a huge Diary Halo fan, I would be raging with them. But since I'm not, I'm just in support of them. Because I could see, like, if they did, like, um... If they did like a like a Crash Bandicoot or like a Spyro show and they just shit on everything, I would be very angry too because that's something from my childhood and stuff. Or even like if they fuck up Mario, like <laughs> that's gonna be really hurtful and stuff. Like I can see why the fans are so passionate. And I don't know, everyone's gonna say, "Oh, it's toxic fandom." Like it's not toxic if you don't like it. It's just sharing your opinions. It's called passion, not toxic. There's a difference. This show. Not very good. If you like this show, though, like, if if something about it, you know, entertains you or you know, intrigues you, I'm not here to take that away or anything. I'm not, I'm not here to say you're wrong. Just the way I feel when I watched from this, this show is not good. And it, it is very insulting to fans for Halo. So, yeah. Don't see it. Just don't watch it. <laughs> So yeah, in the comments section below, please tell me what is your favorite and least favorite Halo video game. My favorite is Halo 3. I've, I've only played 1, 2, and 3, and 3 is my favorite. But what is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, like this video. Please subscribe to this channel and join the ducks.